everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Addict Creations. Today we're continuing with These Are The Days and having a great time with the next month in our segment. Um, another heads up, we will be having Christmas cards starting next Monday for six days. And it'll be, what, three card style, one box card, one set of tags, and one thank you note. So those will start next Monday. In the meantime, let's get scrapping. Okay, so in looking at the bits today, I know you can kind of see them, they're kind of spreading out. I didn't want to cover too much up because I don't want to damage these. So these are the days, the calendar kit, and we are working on page eight, which would be August. And it has this beautiful sunflowery, a daisy looking flower that is very reminiscent or is the same thing as was in um, Daisy Meadows. And I love it. I, I really do. And I love it even more now that I've taken the time and effort to cover these. So I took, um, let's see, this is uh, honey butter and avocado, and I just covered them up. And then I trimmed, like right here, I trimmed a flower off of here. I think it's this one. And so the edge isn't perfect here. So I would just kind of tuck, okay? And then I'm not gonna use these little dots right here because I didn't wanna add that color in as much, but I am going to use, which is kind of adding some of that color in, these little strips. And so at first I've got to kind of work with that. I've got some pictures of Nora and it was a trip where I believe they were house hunting in um, Colorado and I was watching the kids and my sister came over with her little girl. And so they were just kind of laying in the grass and I just got these candid shots of Nora. She was just kind of having a okay day, a great day, you know, goes back and forth in their moods, of course, when they're that age. So I thought this would be a perfect little layout for this one the stickers is this is my and then I'm happy and then place and I'm not going to use that title officially I might do everyday happy or happy every day because it's just an everyday thing so I thought you know let's see what that goes um I've got love this mm, not sure not sure so we'll just kind of play it by ear on what we use here <clears throat> I'm going to set those actually here. So I've got the instructions here and I've got things on both sides. So the first thing I want to do is, um, and I have a cut file for this because I wanted this to be easy. So you're looking at, I guess I should do it on the side that matters, eight and a fourth by 11. And then I did cut this. And again, cut file makes this very easy. So I've got these. I'm not using them as pockets, but I did want to put this little strip right along here. Now it's not long enough, so I'm gonna cut it in the center because I'm planning on putting the daisies on either side. So I'm just gonna kind of trim this and then place this on while it's not on the paper. Because <laughs> once it's on the paper, it's, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to fix it. So just kind of put this right along this edge there and then right along the edge on the other side and we'll repeat that of course on both sides i had gone back and forth with with which side i was putting what on i <laughs> know it's a lot of with what and whatnots um and i think i've decided that i'm going to go this way because i did debate if i wanted it this way but i kind of don't like the arrow look so that's why I was like, huh, do I like it enough that way that I can overlook the arrow? But I don't think I can. So let's cut this. Okay. And again, you won't see that. Although this one right here, <clears throat> maybe I'll move this down a smidge so that it's a little better. Okay, let me fix this. Okay, so I do have a lot more room to play 
in the center, but I would like the edges to look very clean. Okay, got that one. Now let's get this one. And I really like this zip strip. It's just very fun. It pulls a little bit of the candy apple, a little bit of probably what they're calling Capri in here, as well as um, where we got some, some honey butter. We've got some ballerina. It's got a lot of different colors, which is nice. But I want that to be kind of the only color I'm bringing in for those. I don't want a lot of <clears throat> the other colors in there. Let's see if I can get this on here. I know I've got to kind of look over. Go up. There we go. There we go. That should work. Oops. So like I did before when I did the 8x8 layout, I actually had taken um, leftover papers. I don't have as many this time, but just using that honey butter in here, I think it makes it really pretty, it really stands out. And I wasn't as particular, I guess I should say, about my cuts. I just kind of rough cut it. And then after I got it on here where I needed to, I just kind of trimmed. So that's, you know, pretty easy. And then I was cutting, like I said, the flowers off, but I also did some of the leaves. And I have an idea. I kind of was, when I was playing, saw something that I, I felt I liked. So we'll see if it works out in the actual layout. Okay, I'm just gonna place this on here. And then our background's done. So all it is is craft and a little bit of pattern paper today. Very easy. And the cut file makes it even easier. Okay, there's that one. And the nice part is if I change my mind, I can always switch the two layouts and they will be um, creating that arrow that I'm not loving right now, but you never know. Like I said, my mind changes every day, multiple times on which way I like things to go. In fact, for about half of a day yesterday when I was playing with this paper, I had it on the wood grain side. So, so the fact that I changed it to the green, this avocado stripe, I was pretty happy with that. Okay, so the pictures up top, I wanted to put this one there. We've got the girls playing. I put those down here. And then Nora is facing away from me. And then she kind of was, I don't know, she was just kind of looking over this way. And then she looked at me because she saw I was taking pictures. So not like these, oh my gosh, these are amazing pictures, just more life pictures, which is cool. And then the two girls, like I said, we were playing here in the, the grass, just laying there looking at stuff. So that was kind of my thoughts on the pictures. Not, you know, like, oh my gosh, but cool enough. But see, look here. When I do this, it kind of hides that area, which is nice. And then I can tuck these in here as well as, let's see here, let's go like that. And then I did cut extra leaves and like these little kind of stemmy berry leaves. I cut those out of the, um, those are Daisy Meadows. And then I was thinking also, let me grab some of these, kind of just putting one of these down here and then putting some of these leaves and, just like with all of my layouts, every time I put these on here, I change the way that they go. I just do. And I've accepted that. It's just how I am. So let's put that like that. I'm liking this. So last time I had kind of the flowers around this, but I think I like this way. I mean, I could always do, no, I think I like that better. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now let's lay out these over here. This one really has to be tucked somewhere. If we put that more there. This one I did get a little bit of glue on so it's not as pretty as the other ones. And that one needs to be tucked. This one I have some extra little leaves over here that I've kind of been playing with as well. So there. 
I like the intermixing of the leaves that came with it as well as these daisy meadow leaves. I think it gives it quite a little, little boost of, oh, that's cool, you know. And then here I was thinking we could tie these in a little bit. Maybe I will cut this one here. Let's trim that off. Just kind of put those up there. Mm. Trim this a little better. There we go. Got that one. And I have this one. Here, if I put that kind of, it's kind of cute. <clears throat> and then maybe this over here and another one of those. And then we've got that around the girls. And then we've got this happy, which I could put. I don't know. I don't have anything behind this right yet. I'm not sure if I even want to use it. So that's why I keep kind of going back and forth. I do have the every day. I don't know if I even want a title on this. And then we, of course, have these little pieces, which are cute. But again, just not seeing a need for them. I'm going to set those aside. I'm not sure I want to use them. I do have extra leaves here. And let's look at this again. Um, Hmm, not feeling it. I think I like it kind of as is. Let's see if I can get it down as it is and we'll see if it keeps staying this way. Okay, let's make sure that's down a little far. I know I'm kind of making the leaves and the pictures kind of go this way and that. I just didn't want any organization to this one. I wanted this just to kind of feel free. And now I've stuck that down a little further. Let's pull that up a little bit. Mm. Actually, I want a little more of that leaf to show. More like that. Yeah, I like how that lays. Okay, let's put this one down. I know, I'm working on both at the same time. Kind of crazy. Um, let's see. Yeah. This I need the glue for. Okay, so that's done. Now, I'm just gonna kind of push that up a little bit. I'm gonna adhere this photo and this photo so that they are where they're gonna be. And then we'll play with these little daisies again, or sunflowers, or however you want. I, they're kind of daisies to me, so. It would make a good sunflower, though. Okay, now let's pull all of this, these little bits off, and let me get out my pop tape. Let's see, the big one, I think I want to pop that one. Since the others have to kind of be tucked under it. Wow, well, it's a lot of pop tape, isn't it? I'm 
I'm so excited. I've been trying to play with this for a little over a day now. I started this yesterday afternoon, and I'm finally to the point where I'm actually putting the flowers down, which is huge right now. Okay, that's kind of... I don't want to push. I'm going to grab adhesive because if I want to move it, I've got a better chance of moving it if I have this with it instead of this. <laughs> Okay, if I put that there, I do like the difference in the heights right there. And then, let's see, this one this way. I know, he's kind of upside down, but I think that that's a better spot for him. And then we've got, oh, I kind of like that. Okay. Okie doke. These in. Oops. I like the mismatch. I really do like them, this mismatch of leaves and, and bits. I think it gives it a little bit more oomph. Mmm. I know, I always tear these. But then I can do what I want to with them. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Cool. This is a little more compact than I originally thought it was going to be, but I, I'm liking it. I am liking it. Yeah, let's kind of pull that up. There we go. Should I put two leaves over here? Yeah, I think I will. I've got them. Why not use them? And then this one has kind of a two branch. I did crimp, I didn't crimp these, but I did crimp the leaves and these little stem pieces. Okay, there. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, let's look up and see. Oh, I'm very happy with that. I like how that looks. I like the feel of it. And maybe because I kind of put it together a little more, maybe having the everyday... No, still not loving it. We'll see. We'll, we'll address that in a minute. Let's move back over to this side now. And I need more pop tape. Let me grab my other pack. This is the last sheet of big ones I have. Yep, that looks good. liking it kind of more this way. Like I said, it's really interesting how this changes every time I'm playing with it. Oh, probably shouldn't have done that. Let's just kind of keep it up and loose. Okay. 
And then this was the one I wanted down here. So let's grab a pop tape for that one so I don't try to stick it up here as well. Let's grab this one. Oh good, still, the adhesive is still working because <laughs> I haven't put the pin in it. And this is definitely not the glue you don't want to put the pin in. Okay, let's put some tear tape on the back of this. I wonder if I should be pulling this down a smidge. I think I had it down a little lower before. Yeah. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. <clears throat> This under here. Just kind of keep building this little guy up. Pushed a little too hard, of course. And I did these in mink. And I did it on the light side, just so you know. I think I want to put that there. Okay, looks like I've got this little leaf left. Let's stick that up in here. The nice part is there's a lot of green in the pictures, so I don't have, um, I'm not like covering up Nora or um, Cameron. So that's always really good. Stay down. <laughs> Those little pop tapes, they grab a hold of stuff and then they pull them up. Okay, now that these are down, let's look into, well, one, I have this other leaf kind of floating around. We've got one, two, three leaves here, one, two, three, four here. I think that that's probably plenty, but, oh, I kind of do like that. Okay, I'm gonna stick this one in here real quick. And then let's pull out that sticker sheet and see if there's anything that will work with this. And then I'm thinking some dots. Oh, I did not tell you. I, I know I told you about it. I, I put stuff there. But I used this copper ribbon that I used for Halloween. And I thought it looked really pretty. Stood out really nice. It was just kind of a, a calm color. Let's Yeah, I'm still not loving the title. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah if I'm not going to use that, I probably shouldn't use the other. Let me set this pop tape aside. Let's look back here. So we've got this is my unhappy place, and then those dots. There wasn't a lot of embellishments for this. Oh, this is so cute. But if I'm not putting that color on, Hmm, I mean, that's, I guess it kind of matches. I think I like it more in this sky picture. That's kind of cool. And then we've got this one kind of matches. We could put that over here. And do we have a little heart? We have a little pink heart. Oh, that's kind of cute, and that matches. And it says so cute, so that's always nice. Um, I guess I need to kind of look at this too. So here we have hearts, and then we have this little circle. There's this circle, okay, and the gather. This one we have family and friends, and then this piece, and this one that I stole for something else. The joy we have Miriam Bright and uh, the joy to the world. Okay, so these pieces are die cut. Okay, good to know. This one we have play and love and awesome. 
Hmm. Let's look back over here and see what else we didn't use. I didn't use the So Very Lucky. Mm. I think I used the Fun there. I know I used those bits. I used that one. I didn't use the Life is Good. We've got this green, these green pieces, but that's adding another green in. We use those. We didn't use that, but that's pink. And then we've got these yellow. Okay. And that's just a bright, bright yellow. I don't think I want to pull that color in. Do we want to pull this one in? We would have to move this down a little bit to use it. So let's see here if we kind of put that in there. Actually, that's not too bad. It's kind of the same color scheme. So I'm not like, it's not like I have to build another color in. So that's kind of cute. Now I kind of wish I had the little bit that I had left over here. But I, if I remember correctly, I used it. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, got this one, but this is a different color. I don't, I don't want to add another color in. But we do have the yellow. That's just so bright. So bright. Hmm. Nope. Don't love that. But... We do have this. And if I was to cut an inch by two inches, we could put a little bit of color up there. That's kind of nice, adds a little color. Okay. I could do that. Oh, do I want, I think I want, well, let's look. I think I like the darker, darker side of the honey butter. It's very sweet yellow. Like this one is probably the lemonade color and it's so bright in comparison to the honey butter, which comes in and is just very sweet and very timid. And I like, I love those kind of colors. Should I have done that there too? No, I don't think so. Well, I like that I added a little bit more up here. So that gives that. And then I could do a little journaling about Cameron and Nora here. And that we were at the playground by Nora's house. So I think that works. I'm pretty happy. I mean, yeah, eventually I'm going to have to use these bits. But for right now, I'll just keep saving them. <laughs> we'll use them eventually. Okay, let's show this a little closer, and then we are done with August. I think that turned out really good. Very happy with this. And I really do feel like adding these little bits here helped so much to bring out the pretty in that. I did end up using an extra sheet of this because of the, cut, the way the cut was, so... That is how that went down. Um, have an amazing rest of your day and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. Leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.